The Russian military recently sent a 295 MSM, which is an updated version of their 295 Bear strategic bomber, on a new test flight. The United Aircraft Corporation said that a highly modified 295 MSM bomber that can carry missiles had finished a new test flight. All of its components and systems were put through their paces during the journey. In December 2009, the Soviet Ministry of Defense placed an order to upgrade the 295 MS. The United Aircraft Company, which includes the Tupolev and Bereev Aircraft Companies, is in charge of the upgrade. The Kuznetsov NK-12 MPM, the updated variant's turboprop engines, now comes in a total of four. As of now, no other turboprop engine can match the NK-12 in terms of strength. GLONASS, which is Russia's version of the GPS run by the US, is part of the system and helps find and guide targets. In August 2020, the Tagan Rock Aviation Facility launched the first-ever 295 MSM into the air. The upgraded 295 is anticipated to serve in Russia's military until at least 2025. As a replacement for the 24, the Soviet Union's version of the Boeing B-29, the Tupolev 295 Bear was designed as a long-range bomber. The first 295 flew in 1952, and it first saw action with the Soviet Air Forces in 1956. During the Cold War, it was an important part of the Soviet Union's plan to stop nuclear war. Russia recast the plane as a strategic missile transport after the Soviet Union's fall. There are still 47 295s in use by the Soviet Aerospace Forces Long Range Aviation Division. During Russia's invasion of Ukraine, they were used to fire KH-101 cruise missiles at civilian facilities like airports, hydroelectric dams, and nuclear power plants. There is space for eight KH-101 missiles on the exterior pylons of a modern 295. At the beginning of December 2022, two 295s reportedly blew up at the Engels 2 Strategic Bomber Air Base. 